All right, just want to uh, welcome all of our middle school students today to the um, Lutheran National or Lutheran Honor Society uh, induction that we're carrying on today. And just a few words of welcome for you because, and for parents joining us online as we get started, um, you know, I want to give you a little bit of encouragement as you uh, go on uh, through the induction ceremony. The first thing, right, is um, that Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world, right? And, and it's a fact that as you go through school and you're relatively early in your academic careers, but the, the things that you do now will matter well into the future. And your hard work and dedication to get to the point where you can be inducted into an honor society such as this is an indicator of a future success. So I want to encourage you as you go through the rest of your middle school um, education and enter high school where honor societies uh, will be at the national level and will go on to, um, to be one of those things that colleges look at uh, to accept you into their programs, that you continue to do the things, you're doing, the, the things that you are doing now that are setting you up for the successes of the future. And um, I congratulate each one of you for coming in and for um, working so hard during this difficult year, during this pandemic year, uh, to have the success that you've had to get to this point. So congratulations to you all. Okay, what does being in the National Junior Lutheran Honor Society really mean? What does it mean? It means a couple very special things. First off, you are the inaugural group. That means first. Not only are you first at Holy Cross, you're first in the country. This organization was put together over the summer and the early spring by myself and seven other people across the country so that we could bring the Lutheran Church into the Honor Society because of your service projects and because you have religion here on the campus. So we decided to make this as your first stepping stone to the National Honor Society, as Mr. Corey said. And we are so impressed that 26 of you qualified to become the inaugural group of inductees. That is absolutely phenomenal. We have nine sixth graders, 11 seventh graders, and six eighth graders. That for the parents' information that we're watching on Facebook, the first step to your application process was you had to have a 3.8 GPA or higher for the entire school year and you made it. So that is a big pat on the back to you guys and we absolutely are very proud of you. Okay, let's open with a prayer. Lord God, giver of all gifts and talents, bestower of knowledge of you and of the world you have created. Be with us this day as we give you glory for the dedication and gifts you have given, not only to these students, but also to their families. We ask that they may always use these gifts in service to you. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. There are four pillars to being in the Honor Society. Scholarship, leadership, service, and discipleship. The scholarship comes from Psalms 111. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs the praise. Scholarship means you have a commitment to learning that you are developing a cultivated mind, that it is one element that's going to lead you to the highest success. And it can be acquired only through the diligence that you have demonstrated, your effort, 
And as the scripture says, fear of the Lord. Learning furnishes the means by which we interpret and understand the past and the biblical knowledge. Inductees, you have a God-given responsibility to develop your minds and expand your knowledge. The second pillar is leadership. In Mark chapter 10, Jesus called them together and said, you know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be the slave of all. Servant leadership exerts a, whole, a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to set an example that others may emulate. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others are a little hesitant. Leadership is always needed. To lead is a substantive charge to each of you. And that means that's a big charge. You're going to be the leaders of our middle school. The third pillar is service. And those who have been with Holy Cross for a while understand service learning projects. Comes from Matthew chapter 25. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these, my brothers of mine, you did for me. Service can be described in several various ways. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is the quality we seek in our members. The idea of volunteering your time and your gifts and your skills to the common good of creating a better tomorrow. And the final pillar is discipleship. And that's what makes the Lutheran Junior Honor Society special. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, have nothing to do with the godless myths and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Discipleship is an ongoing process. We should never quit learning and growing in our walk with Jesus. Transformation and repentance, making God your priority. Learning the written word of God and living by it with a commitment. Loving, edifying, and serving others as God leads. Focusing on living righteously, being fruitful. Accountability with godly authority. To paraphrase Luke 12, it says that to whom much is given, much is required. In other words, those who have received the knowledge of salvation through Jesus are required to share it with others. You know, if you listen to those little words, it sounds a lot like what our motto is here. Love God, love others, love learning. Okay? It's exactly what discipleship is about. Treating others as you would yourself and as you would Jesus. Now, I'd like you all to stand. I'd like you all to stand. I am going to say the pledge a sentence at a time and you will repeat. I pledge myself to uphold 
the high purposes of the National Lutheran Junior Honor Society. To uphold the high purposes, together, of the National Junior Honor Society, to which I have been selected, striving in every way by God's word and Christian deed to make those ideals the ideals of my school and my life. You may be seated. I will be calling your names and we, you will come up and you will receive your membership certificate, your membership card, your pin into the Lutheran Junior Honor Society, and a little decal for your mom and dad. Okay. Our first inductee, Sergio Alvarez de Jesus. Zachary Otterino. <laughs> Kylie Bittner. <laughs> Kendall Blades. Ashton Bosco. <laughs> Abigail Brule. We want to recognize students that are also at home on the Learning Advantage. Our next inductee at home watching is Adam Cooley. <laughs> Haley Cox. Delena Diaz. <laughs> Mercedes Evers. Riley Foreman. <laughs> Mackenzie Grill. Savannah Howard. <laughs> Sophie Howard. <laughs> Christian King.
Kylie King. Madison King. Mr. Corey, I'd like all three King children to be here together and take a shot. We very rarely have every one in the family. <laughs> Thank you. Madeline Martinez. Do you want to have a shot of this one? No, you can't. <laughs> Isaac Ocasa. <laughs> Kylie Parshall. Heidi Peterson. <laughs> Isabella Quinones. <laughs> One of our Learning Advantage students at home is Taylor Roche. <laughs> Owen Russell. <laughs> Mackenzie Smith. and Jillian Wilson. <laughs> Mrs. Casey, I'd like to introduce the students and parents at home. Mrs. Lisa Casey is a sixth grade teacher, middle school lead teacher. She will be the faculty sponsor for the National Junior Lutheran Honor Society, okay? So she has a few words for you. Good morning. Um, as Mrs. Geis said, I will be the faculty advisor for the Junior Honor Association this year. Um, I'm looking forward to a great year with all of you guys. Um, our first meeting is going to be via Zoom. Um, it'll be after school. I will be sending an email out to you guys within the next week, just letting, giving you the details about that, um, which is probably how we will conduct most of our meetings since we do have a few students on Learning Advantage um, and nobody's schedule really works out to meet during the day. Um, so be on the lookout for that email from me in the next couple of days. All right. Look forward to working with you. Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Chris. Congratulations on the Lutheran Junior Honor Society. That's really cool. And that's something that's gonna look pretty sweet on the old resume as you get ready for college. So can you believe that? You actually have to start thinking about that soon. But uh, the cool thing is, is that uh, I know just about everybody here and I know that you guys are great students and you understand what it means to love God, love others, and love learning. Uh, so I'm going to end now with a prayer, but uh, I just wanted to come up here for a second and say congratulations. Uh, God bless you guys. And uh, let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this group of students. Lord, I thank you for the administration and 
the teachers and the staff here at Holy Cross. And Lord, I pray for each of these students because I know there's going to be times where they're going to face adversity, whether that be in the classroom or whether that be on the, uh, in the, uh, on the basketball or football or soccer courts, uh, wherever it may be, Lord. I know that they're going to uh, face trials. And uh, the good thing about being a Christian, Lord, is that we can rely on you. We know that you're always there, that you love us. And Lord, that, uh, that you gave your only son to die on the cross so that whoever believes in him shall never actually die but have eternal life. And so, Lord, I pray that you would watch over everyone in this room, that you would bless the families here, and that, uh, Lord, you would keep us all safe and help us to always uh, be the kind of people who love others, who love God, and who love learning. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. All right. Uh, go in peace and serve the Lord. Take care, everybody.